Black Friday is getting closer and closer, so now it's time to show you a gaming PC build on a budget where every component is on a discount. It's really important for you to watch this whole video because at the end I will explain on how to make this PC cheaper and also how to make it more expensive to gain some performance. You will have all the components linked down below in the video description as well with the upgrades and downgrades mentioned on this video. So make sure to check it if you want to see the latest prices. That's Said, let's start. For the CPU, I picked the Ryzen 5 5500. This one right now it's 95 bucks. This is a 6 core 12 thread processor that is going to perform great at 1080p. It's really similar in performance to the i3 12100F, going for around 105 bucks. So you save $10 for basically the same performance and two extra cores. Now, for just 20 extra bucks, you can get the Ryzen 5 5600, and that is going to be an improvement over performance so consider making that upgrade. Then for the motherboard I picked the ASRock B550M PG Riptide Micro ATX motherboard. This one has RGB and it has all the features that you're going to need for gaming. Then for the memory kit I picked the Clev RGB 16 gigs of RAM kit. This one is 2x8 at 3200MHz CL16 memory. Really really fast and it's going to be the standard for gaming. For the storage I picked the PNY CS1030 1TB of M.2 SSD. This is Gen 3 SSD and it's going to be really fast for gaming. Seriously, if you decide to go with something like Gen 4 SSD, you're not going to notice a single difference when it comes to FPS. So for $62, we are getting a great storage. For the graphics card and the most important component when it comes to FPS and gaming, we have the RX 6600. This one is 190 bucks by the time that I'm recording this video after a rebate card. So keep that in mind. This is great value and it's going to perform good at 1080p. Any game you throw at it, 60 FPS on average, of course, depending on the settings and your favorite game. So before buying this PC, I do recommend you searching the RX 6600 and Ryzen 5 5500 combination in your favorite programs and your favorite games for you to see the exact performance that this system will give you. Then for the case I picked the Montec Mesh ATX case. This one has a front mesh panel and the airflow is going to be excellent. It was actually the best budget gaming case on the Gamer Nexus video and honestly at this price point $60 it's a great price. And last but definitely not least we have the power supply. I picked the Cooler Master Master Watt 550 Watt 80 Plus Bronze Power Supply. This is a semi-modular power supply and it's C tier rated so it's on the low end and to be honest for this type of build it's not going to risk any component and it's going to work great. The price is 35 bucks so it's really hard to beat. So this PC by the time that I'm recording this video is going to cost you $585. Now maybe when you watch it the price is lower or maybe a bit higher but for around 600 bucks you are getting a great system. And like I said there's no game that you can't run at 1080p at least 60 fps on average but like I previously mentioned it depends on the settings. Now I'm I'm going to mention some downgrades if you want to make this PC cheaper. So the two downgrades that I've made for this PC are the storage and the RAM. For the RAM I picked a 16 gig kit as well but this is non-RGB and it's going to cost you 40 bucks so you will be saving around 15 dollars when buying this memory kit. And then for the storage I picked a 500 gig SSD kit from the same model the PNY CS1030 and the price is going to be 35 bucks. So at the end the total price for this PC will be 500 and 44 dollars and you are literally getting the same performance but you are getting less storage so keep that in mind if you're going to download a bunch of games i do recommend you going with at least one terabyte but if you're going to download games like csgo valorant or just any esports title that is not too heavy then 500 gigs will do the job now, if you have a higher budget and you want more performance, but also not going too far away, I recommend you upgrading from the 5500 to the 5600 at $118. So like I mentioned before, for around 20 extra bucks, you're getting a better processor. And then I would change the case, honestly, to match the motherboard size. And actually the Montec Air 100 ARGB Micro ATX case will look better with the motherboard because you match sizes. And on top of that, it has a beautiful front mesh panel 
I actually like this one more than the other one. It also has great airflow, so don't worry about that. But that is my preference. Maybe you like the other case more, then go with the other one. Feel free to do whatever you want with that. So with those two upgrades, the total price will be $625. And like I said before, you're getting better performance for not that much more. And then if you want to make it even more expensive, I do recommend you upgrading the power supply to this Super Flower Legion GX Pro 750 Watt 80 Blast Gold Power Supply. This is a B tier rated PSU unit. That means that it's better build quality, it's more efficient, and you have much more wattage for future upgrades. Let's say in the future you want to put a 3070 to this build, you absolutely can. And the total price for this PC with this upgrade and all of the upgrades mentioned before will be 658 bucks. And if you ask me, I do believe that the upgrades are actually really good, not only for your performance, but also for future proofing. But if you have less than 600 bucks, definitely go with the PC build of this video. It's going to perform great at 1080p, like I said before, and you won't have any issues with it. Now, by the time of Black Friday, I'm going to upload a full video on the best PC builds from Black Friday, and that is going to be an official video. This is an early Black Friday video, and I also uploaded an early Black Friday previous PC video that you will have in the top right of the screen that I will also update later on. And on top of that, I will be uploading posts if I find new deals that I haven't uploaded on my channel. That's why it's really important for you not only to subscribe to help me with the algorithm, but also to click the bell button if you want to get notified for those type of deals. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see you on the next one.